So you were just talking about the build to sell book that you read and yeah. how it relates to art, your, your architecture practice. Yeah, and uh, just saying about how I feel that like architects are missing out on a, on a trick that they built this asset and this contact book that is magnificent of their whole career and they just don't deliver, they just don't want to sell it on or they mm. don't understand how to sell it on. And I think it's up to sort of our generation to realise that we do have something in our field. We have spent time and effort and money building this, building this practice up. And actually, we should be looking to invest in the next architect to come along, and actually maybe train them up to actually then be able to sell that business on to them, you know. And actually, so that way it's a legacy, always, always passing on to the next person. And that contact book gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger because I mean, so many architects, so many older architects that I know, they sit there and go, "Well, yeah, I've been running this architect practice for 20 years. I'm actually just going to shut it down and just close the doors." Well, hang on, what happens to all those clients, all those relationships they've been building, all these contacts, all that? wealth of knowledge is just lost and so it should just really maybe some of the older architects that we need to have these conversations with and actually start trying to integrate them into building a business that they can actually sell mm. and actually sell on to somebody that is a new starter it's just someone that is sort of part three five years out ten years out looking to build a business and they sit there and go well actually there's a business already built there if I can move in and bring the marketing and bring the expertise in, I can just grow that practice further. And actually, rather than that, that practice is then not lost. You know, the name changes, the partners come through, they change, but the, the practice is still going. Rather than starting afresh, every time, every process is always new. We always think we can do something different, but we all do the same process with the same clients. And I think we just need to embrace that. And so you think, you think that we rarely ever consider our businesses as something to end? We don't think of the, we don't think of the, the we, completion of them? No, we, 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 st we see, a, we see a, a business as a finite piece. We see it as a 25-year career, and then that's it. It's, you know, and, you know, most architects, I started when I was 35. You know, I don't want to be doing this when I'm 70. Most architects do, you know, but I, I know that I want to be out by 70. I want to be going to sitting on the beach somewhere and retiring, and hopefully none of my buildings have been knocked down. But I think that's where architects that I've moved through the generation be sitting there going, I have this product, I have this building, I have, I have this I have this team of people. I don't just want to close down my little practice. I want to move that on to the next generation of upcoming architects, you know, and that's where we should have this mindset of, building a practice that we can sell on in the future. And I think that we, the quicker architects or sole practitioners can get into that mindset, the, the more structured they will become and actually start realizing they have got profits. They're not just building a little practice day to day to try and make ends meet. They are trying to build a practice that they will sell on that makes money for them, makes profit, and actually is sellable to the next person. And they've got an asset. Okay. Brilliant.